All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and uh, honors to our you brothers, you fellow laborers. You know, we almost, we're almost out of here. We're almost out of America. Uh, we're almost um, finished serving our captivity, you know. Dwada Yah Bashem Shai for giving us this truth, you know. And uh, pulling us out of the world, you know, and, and giving us his secrets, okay? Because these secrets, uh, these scriptures, the proper way to break down these scriptures, you know, you gotta, you gotta know that it's only given to a few men, okay? Namely, 144,000 that are able going to be able to that are that are going to be able to sing this song, okay? Because we're singing, you know, when we when we go out there on the highways and hedges, when we uh. When we do these videos, we're singing, and there's only going to be uh, the elect of our nation that are already, that are going to be able to dance to this tune. Okay, so you know I, I'm I'm in transit. I'm doing I want to do a video. Uh, the spirit jumped on me. Uh, I, I meant to do you know a couple of videos on a topic. I was going over there in uh, Palestine with the Palestinians. I was going over in the land of Israel. You know also with uh what's going on with Iran. You know I just wanted to kind of brush up. Uh, on, on you know a couple of those topics um, if possible uh, but before that there's a there's a security there's a uh, emergency security um, <clears throat> there's an emergency meeting the U the UNSC emergency meeting on Gaza situation right because you have them uh, Palestinians they're over there they're uh, they're rioting uh, they're right. They've been rioting for for a minute ever since Jerusalem was was deemed the capital of uh, of Israel, and that uh, the United States was going to move their embassy. So they moved their embassy. I want to say it was either yesterday. Today is the uh, today is the fifteenth of May. I want to say it was either uh, the thirteenth. No, it had to be the it had to be the fifteenth. Some, somewhere in the last couple of days they moved their uh, United States moved their embassy there and they're calling for all the other nations to move the embassy there Jerusalem saying that this is the capital of, uh, of Israel it's always going to be the eternal capital of Israel the Palestinians are saying ever since 1963 61 they've been occupying land that that's, that's not theirs which uh, both both you uh, you you nations are occupying land that's not yours you're fighting over uh you're fighting over the land of israel which is which is the black hispanic and native americans land we were cast out of that land okay that's that's not your that's not your land but you know there's a so-called you know i was watching a little bit of the uh the emergency meeting um you know calling for israel to you know allow them to take their their dead from the the so-called protests you know the Israelis are saying that the Palestinians are, are are violently protesting, which they're using uh, live ammunition. The, the Israelis uh, are, which those are those are the fake Jews. Those 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 Jews they converted to uh, being uh, those so-called Jews they converted to Judaism. Okay, they converted to Judaism, and now they're saying that they're they're the Jews now. Now they're saying that they. That they're the Israelites, okay? Which they say that they're the Israelis. So there's it's already off, according to uh, a biblical standpoints, okay? But it was already pro prophesied that that uh, a, a bastard shall dwell in Asdod, you know, that they're going to take our nationality. And it's always been all it's always been happening ever since what Second Kings, the 17th chapter, when we were put out of that land, and you had a, uh, you know, you had a uh, they they went in there. And, uh, uh, and and pretty much the priests had to come because they were getting jacked up from the animals because the wild beasts because they were there's a certain there's a certain way that you have to live when you're in that land or the Lord's gonna jack you up was the whole landmass of Israel is going to be destroyed because we have we have imposters there but I wanted to go in there talking about the UN meeting about oh there's a humanitarian crisis and everybody's is rallying uh, rallying for uh for the Palestinians and and pretty much there there's an outcry 
of all the injustices that are happening towards those damn Arabs. Well, I wanted to bring out a scripture because it's funny. It's funny that, you know, all these nations will come together in one accord to, you know, rally and, 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 and talk about the, the inhumane justices that are happening to these other nations. But no other nations come together and talk about the so-called black, Hispanic and Native American uh, oppression that's been happening for the last how many how many hundreds of years you know there's no outcry and then when there is an outcry okay you have all these different analysts okay these different analysts and these people talking about uh, suck it up okay slavery was a long time ago you have opportunity to go out there look 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 at uh these different they compare us to these uh entertainers oh they made it you know, they compare us to these coons and in uh, and, and these different uh, uh, fields of Esau's uh, society, a sellout of our people, and they compare us. They look. Ooh. Hold on. They, they compare us to Salakia, you know, Esau, Lane, and Wade. They compare us to these different uh, Israelites that sold out and, and, and so called the illusion of making it in, in this society. And they compare us with them and say, look, well, your people have done it. It's just because you're lazy. But, uh, and, you know, we get we get shot down in the streets. We get our, we get our land violently taken away from us violently. And, and no no other nation has came up to the to the aid of the children of Israel. OK, no other nation has came to the aid of the children of Israel. But you got a few Palestinians dead. OK, now now there's a now there's a humanitarian problem now. Now we need to call for uh, we need to call for uh, uh, solidarity. We need to call for uh, the the giving up of that land to give it back to those people. We need programs and we need we need humanitarian aid sent to these poor people. Okay, when when these other nations they haven't done that to us. Okay, so let me bring out this this scripture real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 15 and 5. It says, "For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem?" Okay, Jerusalem is talking about you, uh, you black Hispanics and Native Americans. Who shall have pity upon you? Okay, because all these things happen, and nobody, uh, nobody says anything. Okay, they make excuse. Okay, why you're in that situation? It says, or who shall be lonely? All right, who's gonna cry for you? Who's gonna have pity for you, Israel? You Israelites. Okay. Or who shall go aside to ask how thou do, does this? Do us. Yeah, you don't you don't see any of these uh nations. You don't see the Chinese, you don't see the Arabs, you don't see the, the, the Japanese, you don't you don't see the so-called white men, you don't see none of these none of these nations. None of these nations do you ever see, okay, ask how you Israelites are doing, you know? Or, or come to you Israelites aid that doesn't happen okay why is because the other nations they hate uh, they hate you and they don't they don't find you worthy to be helped they look at you lower than the animals man you know and our people they don't they don't realize that I wanted to get a, a, a scripture uh, according to the curses you know these are these were these were going to be uh, 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 curses that are going to be placed upon us, you know. Let me let me just read some of them. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 20. It says, uh, uh, 28 and 19, it says, Cursed shall thou be when thou go, comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. That's right. When, when you're born into this world, you're born cursed. You're born into slavery. Okay, you're born into uh, the, 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 the world of the so-called white man. Give me a second. Okay. You're born in hell. Okay. You're born poor. Okay. And then you're born a proverb and a byword. All right. And then when you die, you're 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 cursed when you die. So you curse when you come in and you and you curse when you go out. Okay? You go out, you uh you die. Say say your your parents die. Well, all that debt, okay, all that debt is left to you and the children. 
then if they did have a little bit of money it's been it's, it's being fought over by uh by the family members and maybe one family member maybe two family member members get the money and they'll run off so you you can't even and leave an inheritance to your family furthermore you've been you've been a slave ever since you came into this world uh uh, uh pretty much trying to uh recapture or try to capture some type of uh financial stability which you have none it's because you're by the time when, when, when you're born into this world you're cursed when you go out of this world you're cursed okay the verse 20 says the lord shall send upon the cursing vexation and rebuke and all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do so so anything that you you israelites put your hand to it comes to not okay that's why you can't have businesses okay you see that the reason why you can't have businesses is because you have you have curses placed upon you that that don't allow you to succeed it says until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me all right so when anything happens to these other nations these other nations they'll stand up and fight for each other okay if anything happens to you Israelites, okay, that's it's just a curse unto you. It, you look down upon like, oh man, look at these, look at these people, man. These people, you know, these people are gone. And I wanted to get a, give me a second. I wanted to get another curse. You know, but you know, is Israel? They don't, they don't. uh they don't even consider any of these things that are happening to them as uh as judgment of the lord and the lord telling them to uh return you know they don't they don't consider that this deuteronomy 28 and 37 and thou shalt become a an astonishment okay jacob let's look at this word astonishment actually you know it's, let me see if it's kind of bugging out. Give me a second. I can. Cause Jake, Jake today is an astonishment, man. Okay. Uh, Shema. It says a waste, a horror, a waste, a horror. It says desol a desolation. Okay, <laughs> you're totally destroyed. You're totally destroyed as the people. Okay? You see that. Jake is totally gone. Every man's hand is against each other. There's there's no type of order within the household. Okay? So when things do happen, the whole world can see that you're just an astonishment. You're wasted. You're destroyed. So it's like, why even help out these people? They don't even want to help themselves. It says, Thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. Okay, you see that? So you you are you are astonishment, you are a byword, you are a proverb. Okay, you're you're looked down upon, made fun of, wherever wherever you go. Okay, and no no other nation is going to come and help you. All right, but if, as soon as something happens in a in a foreign country, the Syrians. Or the Palestinians, okay, or the the Serbians, okay, or any other nation on the planet Earth, outside the nation of Israel, because you have them, uh, you have them Peruvians. I think there's Peruvians, Salvadorians. They were coming up, trying to gain, um, trying to trying to gain citizenship in the United States not too long ago, amnesty, and you had a you had an outcry of of these Americans. Okay, nobody was really covering the story. All right, they're saying that they're terrorists, that they're drug dealers. They didn't want to allow them into the country, but then they'll allow they'll allow these Middle Eastern companies, to, uh, countries to come in. They'll allow, they'll allow uh, 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 these Pakistanians and these East Indians, even these uh, these Hamitic nations, that the the, the the Ethiopians and the Somalians and the Libyans. You know, in the South African, they they're allowed, they're allowed to come into your country, come into their country, America, but the Israelites, they have to go through all types of loop, uh, uh, loops and and jumps and 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 and, and uh, 
what's it called? A, a paths of difficulties just to come come here and for somebody to hear to hear their cry. It's because who shall be moaning? All right, they're out there dying. Nobody nobody's helping the Venezuelans. Okay, nobody's helping you Israelites. All right, there, nobody's helping you uh you Nigerians. <laughs> okay? You Israelites on the on the west west part of Africa. There ain't no outcry for you. There's more spoiling. There's more spoiling, there's more taking away. All right? There's there's more uh uh uh, uh proverbs that are being made, okay? By words that are being made that are being placed upon you reason why uh, you're in that situation you know we're kind of circling back to what's going over there going on in the Middle East you know how Israel the state of Israel they can kill they can kill uh, uh, as many people as they want and there's pretty much a media blackout to what's happening you know now you do have some people that do know you know they'll, they'll they'll do marches okay they'll do marches and and, and 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 come on come on these different news news shows and talk about it but for the most part they these these so-called jews man they just do whatever the hell they want to do why because they uh they they they're the ones who control everything okay you got a group of white people Okay, a group of so-called white people in the Middle East, man. That's unheard of. And all these other nations, they know. They know that they're not the Israelites. They know who the Israelites are, but they're not saying anything. They're going to be judged for that, man. Now, I want to bring out this scripture because the Middle East is, is, still, is still hot, man. And it's going to continue to be hot until it gets burnt up. And who's going to be one of those, who's going to be that main nation to draw all those nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat alright it's going to be the state of Israel this is uh, uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh forty five. therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Babylon and his purpose okay because this is what's going to happen and the reason why all these nations are getting placed in the Middle East, the reason why there's more tension in the Middle East is because the Lord is preparing for the great day. The great day is when he comes to, to visit the earth, okay? And to render a righteous uh, anger, okay? And to destroy the whole landmass of America. That he has purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Okay? So the, the least of the flock is talking about the so-called Jew. Okay? Because they're in the Middle East and how and as, as small as the, the state of Israel is, all right, nobody's touching them because because America America is back is backing up Israel. Okay, and that's what's going to draw America into this last war. Okay? But saying that, different, uh, different, uh, them, like Iran, which are the Persians, okay, uh, the, the Afghanis, the, the the Pakistanis, okay, East India, Syria, they're all gonna they're all gonna take part of this war, and they're gonna have, and they're gonna have a guard, okay, and that guard is gonna be Russia. Russia has a great military. They're more advanced militarily wise than America. Okay? Let me uh let me bring out the scripture. I'll I'll start Ezekiel 1, 38 and 1. That's some bullshit. So I can. It says, and the word of the Lord came came unto me saying son of man set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy uh, against him and this is this is going to those lands which those lands right now those ancient names are being uh, occupied by by that northern army by being occupied 
or what you would know today day as uh, uh, Russia. Okay? It says, And say, Thus said the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and the chief, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thy enemy, army. Okay? Because the Lord is going to uh, stir this up. The Lord is going to stir this battle up because as you see what's going on, these different deals that are being made, these peace treaties that are being signed, and these war provocations that are being uh, 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 that are being uh, uh, pushed out there, you know, there these other nations come together to diminish that uh, that nuclear threat. They don't want to go. See, these nations don't want to go in a nuclear war. Okay, the elites want to, but these nations don't want to go in a nuclear war because they they see that it's going to be uh, 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 catastrophic. It's going to be catastrophic to the whole planet Earth in the, in the, in the system. Okay? But it says the Lord, he's going, to, he's going to put hooks in the mouth of Russia. You know, as, as many times as Russia, okay, diminishes the nuclear threat by uh, diplomatic uh, uh, processes, there is going to be no diplomatic process for the next coming up uh, provocation. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna, uh, uh, the Lord is gonna turn him into that, that, uh, that mighty man. It says, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all clothed with all sort of armor, even a great company with buckler and shields, and all them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shields and helmets. And this is just symbolizing this vision of, of the military power and might of these different nations that are going to be allied with Russia, okay? Which which go into the different tanks and uh, and drones and aircraft and, uh, and 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 destroyers, okay? Different military Humvees and different uh, 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 weapons more importantly it goes into the nuclear missile and the silos that carry the nuclear missiles all right from different parts on the outskirts of uh, uh, uh of these different parts of the world that they set up these different nuclear sil silos okay from off the shore of america they that uh, russia russia has submarines that that are uh right on the border of america right outside waters and they're undetected okay all, all these nations have submarines under the, under the water spying on each other. Okay? Gomer and all his bands in the house of Togomar and the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with him, with thee, uh, Slaki. Yeah, many people with thee, meaning uh, these nations are going to be ra uh, rallied together with Russia. See, right now, America, it seems, the illusion seems that America has all these allies which America does have allies, but the only reason why America has allies, just as I want to say the Russian defense minister said, is because you bullied them. And uh, being a bully uh, and, and forcing somebody to be your friend, that doesn't mean that they're your real friend. Okay? And, uh, when there's opportunity, okay? When there's opportunity, they're going to, uh, they're going to turn against you, uh, America. As un, as unbelievable as it may seem, all right, it's the Lord that's doing it, and well, it's really not unbelievable because you you start to, you're starting to see that these nations, uh, 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 chiefly these European nations, are seeing America can't be trusted, and the, and then America is making these Edom, these other Edomite nations look bad. They gotta at least have an illusion that they're a, a so-called good people. Okay, it says, "Be thou prepared." And prepare for thyself, thou and all the and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. You see that? Because if, if Russia wasn't a guard unto these smaller nations, then America could have their way and topple governments easily. But uh, Russia being the, the big military superpower that they are, 
Okay, they're a guard unto uh, Syria. They're a guard unto Iran. They're they're a guard unto Libya. They're a guard. They're going to be a guard unto all these other smaller nations. Okay, and China's going to be there too. China China is a great military superpower. Okay. So these great military superpowers are being built up for this this last great war. Okay, Joel Joel three and nine. The Lord He's assembling all the nations. Okay. So you you fake you fake uh, Jews. Okay. That feign yourself as the Israelites. That feign yourself as the the true people of the Most High. You're being exposed, and the Lord, He's going to destroy you. He's going to destroy that land. That land is going to be built up. The uh, uh, the Iranians, they want to destroy you. That's why uh, Netanyahu is is trying so much, so hard, okay, to, to pull the pull America out of the deal, which happened, and to trump up charges against Iran, saying that they're a terrorist. They fund terrorists, okay. They're funding terrorists in uh in, in Syria. They want to destroy. Uh, I, they want to destroy the state of Israel. Yeah, good, good for you, damn devils, man. Because you you're going around and you're trying to act, portray yourself to be a, a godly people when you're not. You're the devil. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, the the deceiver. Okay, especially Amalek, that cheap house of Edom. All right, because you're you're the ones who control the media outways, uh, airways. You can you control the uh, the the narrative, okay, and the media. But you know what? The Yahweh really controls the narrative, and the narrative is that you're that you're uh, that you're not the Israelites. And if you were the Israelites, why is there so much uh, chaos? You know. So you know, I just wanted to do that that lesson. You know, I hope you brothers will edify. You know, it's, it's getting hot. You know, you got to stay. You definitely got to stay on your watch. Okay. You definitely got to stay on your watch because there, there's a point to where uh, these, these, these prophecies are speaking more and more. They're speaking louder and louder. Okay. And you don't want to get caught out there, you know, being uh, idle. You know what's the word idle? One of the definitions is is, is uh is, is worthless or vain. You know, being an idle servant, and not because you know we're watchmen. So, you know, I just want to do that lesson. All praise, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Al Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.